Hello, hello, my friends. Well, uh, it's been a heck of a long day, another long day. Actually, most of the days, I think, are all going to be long days. Um, we went to the absolutely amazing city of Alexandria today. This is my supper tonight. I'm having some croissants and buns and a banana that uh, our tour guide told us to scam from the uh, buffet this morning because he said it could be a while before we made it to lunch and we could get pretty hungry. I managed to be okay. Oh, when we were at the catacombs, when I was coming out, there was uh, these three gentlemen. One of them was uh, uh, an Egyptian soldier, security guy for antiquities, and uh, two uh, citizens of Alexandria, and they were having uh, falafel and nan bread and tea. And there was this little cat by them, and I was just kind of going by. I was like, oh, little kitty. And uh, they were like, oh, come, come, join us, join us. And I was like, really? Like, and they were like, yes, yes, have. And they like gave me some band bread and a falafel, the uh, like deep fried beans that are crushed, and really, really good. Uh, but it was so cool to uh, and like they didn't invite anybody else that was around. Um, so that was uh, that was pretty cool for the, uh, of them to uh, let me partake in a little bit of their culture, and uh, I have no problem doing that. Uh, I love to do that. Um, they res you know they really respect that when I think people that you know that do that. Um, so that was cool. That was really cool. Uh, then lunch, yeah, and uh, then I've been having problems with my uh, debit card. I don't use credit cards, um, and uh, our brochures said that debit and ATMs were prevalent here, and ATMs, yes, there's bazillions of them, but uh, my uh, Canada Trust card is not being liked by about 99% mm, of them. So I had to get uh, Chris Galbraith. To uh, check into uh, my uh, TD bank, he called and uh, asked them, you know, what's up, motherfucker? And uh, they gave him a, a list, uh, sent along a list of the uh, uh, HBC banks, which are uh, also in Canada and uh, global. And uh, they said that these should more than likely and most likely work for me. So I actually had an armed escort by two armed security guards that uh, that we went I was just me with them guys on the bus and we had to cross this crazy street on Alexandria with all this traffic and stuff and I had these guys walkie talkies and they were like you know like holding me back and okay come 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 you know and it was really cool armed escort my first armed escort to uh, an ATM in back so that was kind of neat got money should work out for the next couple of days. Long story short, uh, came back from Alexandria to the hotel here at Mina House last night here. Packed up all my shit. Uh, gonna go pay my bill here shortly after I do some internet stuff because it costs to do the internet. And uh, just paying and checking out tonight. And then tomorrow morning we leave. We go to the uh, Egyptian Royal Museum, which is gonna be freaking amazing. And uh, we do some other little touring around. And then we go out to the Cairo Airport and we fly down to Luxor, and then things really freaking kick in the gear because I think we're going to see some absolutely brilliant, mind-blowing stuff when we get going. So, I'm going to wrap up now. Uh, I, don't this one, I don't know when this one will make it on, but we'll see. Kind of funny, I was just telling you about my uh, little, little mediocre uh, supper here. I went down to the uh, restaurant, the Indian restaurant, and asked if I could just have a banana, and she says, oh, would you like two? And I was like, no, no, one's okay. And she goes, okay, you wait here, I'll get my colleague to take it for you, or to get it for you. So, I'm uh, waiting around. Waiting around, waiting around. And then, uh, finally, uh, she comes, she's got two on a plate, and she's got this other, like, tin wrapped up. And I'm like, what's this? And she goes, like, oh, two more. And I was like, oh, okay. So she's like, enjoy, enjoy. So, yeah, so I've got a shitload of bananas, which is probably not good for my tummy with the pooping problems that I have. Poop. Didn't have anything to balance my camera on. Uh, 6.10 a.m. Going to be leaving the hotel today. Paid for all my stuff last night. And uh, luggage has to be outside here shortly. 
We're gonna go to the museum. We're gonna go to a papyrus, papyrus, um, factory, uh, manufacturing factory. No, it's little, little make. Oh, they may make the papyrus there. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna go see how they do the painting on papyrus and learn about that. Uh, the uh, Egypt Museum, which is gonna be amazing. Um, we don't get a couple that's here. We're here early, and uh, they said that you know what we're gonna have isn't enough time to see almost 80% of the stuff at the at the museum, which is kind of sad. But oh well, we only have so much time to do so much stuff. Um, and then after that, uh, we have to head to the Cairo Airport of Hell and um, fly down to the Paradise of Luxor and uh, begin the next stage of our adventure. Giza, Giza Pyramid, Sphinx, thank you for being so kind to me during my stay. It's been a pleasure to be here in Cairo and uh, hope to come back someday other than to uh, come and fly out of you. <laughs> Check my room multiple times, multiple times. Up there in the safe, look, just so you know. I know later. I like these safes, they're kind of cool. Uh, nothing in there. Bathroom's been cleared. Closet's been cleared. This is you know, coming with me right now. It's coming right now, right now. Luggage, zap strapped, locked. Bed's been cleared. Those have been cleared. Got nothing else in here. We're ready to go. That's what I thought about, you know, almost everywhere you go and, you know, look and turn, it's something that you don't see somewhere, kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. be the tallest tower or the highest building in Egypt, and uh, it was started in 1960, completed in 1964, and on the top there is a revolving restaurant. 133 kilometers, just to remember the number. Yes, sir. This is one of the branch. You are going to see the biggest one now. On the right side and left side, the Nile is the longest river in the world. And one of the rare rivers that flows from, run from the south to north. Not from north to south. This is much better. Can you see this hotel uh, on the right side that they covered the restor restoration? This is Just leaving the Egyptian Museum. <laughs> this is uh, where Anwar Sadat was assassinated, right over there. And uh, our guide, uh, because he's ex-military, uh, has kind of an in with uh, the guards, and uh, so he's uh, got them to allow us to uh, come to the site and uh, take pictures. traffic of course and it's much cleaner and uh, people here are following the rules 
and imagine that they have a miracle here happen and uh, when the people see the red traffic light they stop move it back royal lotus move it back this is the name royal lotus move it back i can be the sun it will i will show it to you before we go to the hotel, to the hotel right now that's good very good my dear friends they left out milk <laughs> or, no, no milk no because they are having camel milk Oh, nice. <laughs> yes, Blanquiza especially. Lights, beautiful people here. Look to the right side, keep looking please. We are digging here. Can you see what we found? The Sphinx. Sphinx, what do we call them? Sphinx Avenue. Anybody heard about it? Okay. How many temples uh, on the east side of the river Nile that we are going to visit tomorrow to Luxor and Karnak? In ancient time, during Very. 1300 BC, one of the pharaohs decided to build the, both of them, beginning of them, and he decided at the end that there is another pharaoh, his name is Ramses II, you know him? He decided to connect both of them with an avenue. Imagine that the two temples connected to each other with one canal and decorated on two sides with Sphinx. One, one row on the right, one row on the left. City that you can see tourists taking all these carriages and they take a tour around the city of Luxor, <laughs> the ancient city of Luxor, dates back to 3,000 years ago. You can see the columns, you can see the obelisk. Anybody went to Paris before? Yep. Did you see the obelisk there? Yes. It used to be here. Imagine and we sent it to the French. They didn't steal it. They took it as a gift. Who gave it to them? Muhammad Ali. And the obelisk is about 25 meters high. I guess I don't get out enough. You, you have to leave the card in here uh, or the lights don't come on. I never knew that before. Oh, look at this little toilet. Beautiful little tub. Yeah, it'll be all right. Unfortunately, I'm not facing the Nile, damn it. I'm facing the whatever the hell's out here. And, um, let's just go out and see what the heck I can see. Oh, it smells like a fire. Lovely view of the moon and the little courtyard street out here. Gem travel. And a nice little balcony. This is nice. It's nice. Nice. It's warm outside. There's the screen, so no uh, Nile virus. Uh, Nile. Is it the Nile virus? No Nile virus mosquitoes come in and eat me. And uh, let's. Uh, I gotta pick my pill and uh, kind of. My luggage isn't here yet. I gotta pee. The Nile River, the first encounter close up to it. I don't want to fall in. It's kind of currenty around here. We'll be on one of these boats coming. Over yonder. Oops, let's go back this way. So focus. That is the Valley of the Kings over there, which we'll be visiting in a few days. There's our hotel. Not facing the side, but this is the Sheraton Hotel. 